Good evening and welcome to Only Connect. And we've had some good news. We've recently been voted by Wolf Magazine. Ow! And that was just for the normal episodes. This is the third place playoff. It's always my favourite match of the series. It's as hairy as the rest of it, but the claws aren't quite so sharp. This year, I am delighted to welcome, on my right, Niall Jones, an English graduate who won a journalism competition aged 16 for an article he wrote about the Ice Bucket Challenge. Lorna Frankel, a natural sciences student who was cast in the silent role of Cherie Blair in her primary school production of Annie. And their captain, Steve Barnes, a science teacher and chemistry graduate whose favourite element is bismuth because it's stable, has nice colours, is square and makes nice patterns. All fans of a gentle walk, they are the Ramblers. Congratulations on getting to this stage of the competition. When you look back, what do you think will be the main things you remember? Um, certainly the Beatles answer we gave of not wanting to let go of somebody's <laughs> foot. That was uh, a real moment. <laughs> Bananas and humans having similar amounts of DNA. Mm. Discussions or... on the devoutness of Norwich. Ah. <laughs> The only Connect experience in three three terms. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it isn't finished yet because you've still got one more match to play and you'll be playing it against, on my left, Claire Haywood, an author who once kept a Christmas tree as a houseplant. Isabella Morris, an English graduate who was identified in her school yearbook as the third most likely person to appear on a TV quiz show. And their captain, Emily Wolfenden, a computer programmer who enjoys singing traditional songs on the Singaporean National Day, but has never been to Singapore. United by a weakness for wildlife, they are the animal lovers. Well done to you two. During your time with us in Cardiff, how have the questions been? Well, it's been a bit, a bit of the good, a bit, bit of the bad. It's, it's nice when something comes up in our niche, but then... Mm. Sometimes questions do uh... come up on our niche and then we don't get them, so... Yeah, that too. <laughs> well, well done, you two, for making it to this crucial match. And you won the toss, so please choose a hieroglyph. Can we have the lion, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. OK. Oh, that's stars? Yes. Uh, next, please. Yeah. That's Prince. Stars. Prince. Stan is an animal, get another Next, please. Oh, that's Parker. Okay. Stan, Prince, Parker. I think we've got one more. I can't remember yeah. the last one. Next, please. And Sussex? No, no, that's Kent. Kent. Oh, are they titles of someone? Um, but what's Stan? Don't know. Uh, these are titles of a member of the royal family. They are not all titles of a member of the royal family. Ramblers, do you know? Are these all surnames of the alter egos of superheroes? Yes, they are. Yes, of course. Yeah. Kent! Well done. What are we looking at? So, Kent is the last one, so Clark Kent is Superman. Mm -hmm. um, Parker, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. That's right. And is Prince in the second picture, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Wonder yeah. Woman is Diana Prince. Ah, there you go. Uh, yeah. um, and I know nothing about South Park, so I don't know who that is. It's Kyle. Oh. And Selena oh. Kyle is the secret identity oh. of wow. Catwoman, or perhaps vice versa, depending on where you start. What would you like for your own question? Uh, could we go for the uh, two reads, please? Yes, you could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. All right, do you know anything about that? No. Uh, no. no. Okay, we should move on. Okay, <laughs> next clue, please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and four others. Right, okay, we don't know, do we? No. Next no. clue, please. And we've got a humperdinck, all the swine, seven seas, and his autobiography. My lord. Uh, Another? <laughs> yes. Yeah, next clue, please. Are they, are they, I don't know, are they lost? Um, are they... I don't know. Done in all yeah, particular way, like lost? You know, I'm not lost. A, I don't know if they're getting they're all lost. Yeah. Some of them are lost. Probably right. not, but anyway. Uh, these are all things that have been lost. They are not things that have been lost. Animal lovers, do you know? Uh, are they say? posthumous? That's not it. These are all people who selected their own work on desert island discs. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dame Thora Heard selected her own autobiography, Seen and Heard. Louis Armstrong, lots of his own music. I mean, why wouldn't you, to be honest, if yeah. you're Louis Armstrong? Uh, Mac the Knife and, and several others. Engelbert Humperdinck chose his own autobiography as well. That last clue, Dame Maura Limpany, chose eight pieces of music all uh, performed by herself. Animal lovers, what would you like next? Uh, I think Isabella would like to choose one. Okay. Uh, I have Horus, please. I have Horus. 
<laughs> well chosen. <laughs> what is the connection between these music clues? Here's the first. Next, please. They've all got bright in them. Tell me something else. <laughs> bright side. <laughs> they all have bright side <laughs> in them. Very well done. What did we hear? Uh, the second one was Bright Side of the Road. Mm -hmm. Um, and the third one was Mr. Brightside. By the Killers. That's right. The first one was Brightside by the Panisse Brothers. And you came in before Clue 4. What do you think Clue 4 would have been? Always look on oh, yeah. the bright side of life. Oh, <laughs> Very popular at funerals, that song these days. Very nice. Ramblers, what would you like? Uh, could we have the water, please? Yes, you could. What is the connection between these water clues? Here's the first. Um, anything? Oh, um, that's the one that's got four sides, so is that a D4? Is that going to be what? Do you want me to go for another one? I think we need to go yeah. for another one, but uh, it might next, be. Next, please. G7. Is it G7? That's definitely the G7. Is that called the G4? The pyramid size de gaming dice, shaped gaming okay, dice, is definitely yeah. a D4. So oh, it's the letter of the alphabet. Yeah, exactly. They are. Letter, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. cool. Yeah. So these can all be preceded by a letter of the alphabet. So the first one, D4, D is the fourth letter of the alphabet. The second one, G7, G is the seventh letter of the alphabet. Very well done. So which group performed at Same Old Brand New You? As A1. A yes. I remember them. They're quite forgettable, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're watching, A1. <laughs> Poor old A1. Um, and the shortened cricket format, T20. Very good. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. Animal lovers, what would you like? Uh, can we have the twisted plaques, please? Yes, you can. What do these clues have in common? Here's the first. Yeah, um, oh, she's like a witch. Where's yeah. a hood? Next, please. Big nose. I think because in Bob Yaga, in Spirit of the Way, it has a gigantic nose. I okay. wonder if that's... Should we get, yeah, I would get, get another, another one. one. Next, please. Oh, no, the house blows away. Uh, yes, it's... yes. Oh, yeah. The house blows away, or flies away. Becomes detached from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that answer. <laughs> they don't all blow. Uh, Baba Yaga is, is sort of witch in old mm. uh, Slavic stories, and it, her house can move around on legs. Oh. But in that sense, it does move off the ground. And the last clue, Wizard Howl in Howl's Moving yeah. Castle. In that one, it moves around like a sort of vehicle. So I suppose in that sense, it is off the ground. Very well done. What about the middle two clues? Uh, yeah. So, Carl Fredrickson in Up he has attaches his loads of balloons, balloons to his house. And who's Dorothy Gale? Uh, Wizard, Dorothy, of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Um, of course, in the Wizard of Oz. Uh, in a dream. It doesn't actually happen. But of course, it's a film, so neither does anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Ramblers, one question remains. Horned Viper. What do these clues have in common? Here's the first. Back no. In. no idea. Okay, next clue, please. Pons, that's Latin. Is it Latin? Yeah, is that the in the brain? Pons, there's a pons in the brain. It's okay. like it's it's quite black, black matter, matter on the one. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Maniculum oh, herbs. Do you have oh, these are football teams. These are oh. football teams and the colours they play in. Oh, in yeah. Latin. Okay. So Manchester City. Yeah. 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 Is there a bridge that's. Maybe. Maybe. I think so. Shall I just go for it? Yeah, 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 why not? Yeah. So these are, I, I guess, they're the names of football teams in Latin and the colour strip that they play in. I'll take that. It's not exactly that the names are in Latin. Let's have a look at all the clues. What it exactly is, is that the name of the area has been renamed what the ancient Romans ah. would have called it. Okay. So, for uh, example, okay. where we see Pons Elias Concourse, that's Newcastle United, so it's not a direct uh, translation of okay. Newcastle. That area would have been called mm. Pons Elias by the Romans and United. What are the other teams? Well, the last two are Manchester City and Manchester United. Mm -hmm. The first one... Rovers? Uh, yeah, Vagi, Wanderers, Rovers, exactly. Sorry. Bolton? No, no, Blackburn. I don't know any... Danham, Doncaster. Ah, Doncaster yeah. Rovers. Should I tell you a Roman joke? Yeah. Yes. Oh, please. please. A centurion walks into a bar. He says, I'll have five beers, please. <laughs> Thank you. That means at the end of round one, the animal lovers have four points, the ramblers have six. C. 
sequence is time and animal lovers you'll be going first again what would you like uh, for the final time can we have the lion please yes you could you've chosen the lion regularly throughout mm. the series is that out of sheer love of animals or have those questions fallen particularly well for you uh, out of sheer love of animals yeah. um... Do you have enough of a quizzing brain that you have calculated how many times you've scored highly on the lion question relative to the other questions? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> I mean, I can promise you that our question setters will have done. Mm -hmm. Time to feed the last lion data into that computer. <laughs> what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK. Uh, east. Uh, next, please. This is like a crossword oh. thing. Oh. It might not be, though. Uh... I, I would Next, please. Yeah, these are the mess. What is what is going on? Oh no, where? What? Oh no, that doesn't say where. It's kind of. Another E R E R onto the top of it. We are not going to do that. Oh, just Ramblers, can't. you'll never go for a bonus point. Yeah, so you'll want to add the letters O, T, T, and F to the top of those. Yes, we will. Let's do oh, that and reveal the puzzle. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh. Don't look across, look downwards. We are simply spelling out one, two, three, four downwards, adding four letters each time. Well done. Bonus point for you, Ramblers. And what would you like for your own question? Uh, we'll take the twisted facts, please. OK, twisted facts. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK, do you know that? Lover. No. 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 Uh, next, please. That's a five. Oh, OK. Is, uh, it? Is that yep. a five? Yeah. I don't know. So what's Miss Lover got to do with five? I have no idea. Oh, is she called Fee? Is she what? Is she oh. called Fee? Is she called Fee? Fee, 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 So a thumb. Something that means thumb. Oh, yeah, Fee, Fee, yeah, yeah, so thumb. You just want me to go with a thumb? Yeah. What's another word for that? Um, Should I just say thumb? Just say thumb. Just say right. Thumb. I would like you to look at the other clues oh, and rephrase okay. your answer. I've got all night. <laughs> this thing, but not pronounced quite the way you we should. Normally do. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Let's bring up all the clues. We went with labiodental pronunciation of thumb. What is the sequence? So it's um, the giant from Jack and the Bean store his, going fee fi fo fum. I mm. smell the blood of an Englishman. Exactly. But. So the broadcaster fee Glover, mm. fi the Greek letter, fo the French mm. fake, and uh, uh, answers you could have given include a Chinese phoenix, right, the fum, okay. uh, or and I would have been surprised if you'd said this. I'll be honest with you. A word in the refrain of a popular Spanish carol imitating either a drum or a strummed guitar, and an obsolete verb for to play a guitar with the fingers or to thump. It's not the answer I was expecting to hear, but you know. So, well, we know now. <laughs> you know now. <laughs> Back to you, animal lovers, for a choice. Uh, can we have the horned viper, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay. Next, please. Hat. Hat. Uh, next, please. In Paris. Okay, so. Uh, oh, wine. Um, how was so? Uh, what's fourteen in French again? Quatorze. Yeah, quatorze. Yeah. And so uh, twelve. What? Where's whole wine from? Is it German? Yeah. It's, yeah, Dutch. Uh, okay. I thought it was German. Oh, we have to spell um, something. 15. 15. Yes, I'm going 15 Berlin. Not it, I'm afraid. Ramblers, do you know? No. <laughs> Let's see if your memories are jogged if I ask you some further questions. The Ambassadors in the National Gallery is a painting by which artist? Hans Holbein. What type of garment is an Anthony Eden? A hat? Yeah. Baron Hausmann is best known for his planning of which city? Paris. Paris. A number one followed by 100 zeros is known by what name? Google. Google. Are you there yet? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the final few questions of who wants to be a millionaire, the, the episode. Oh, um, coughing major. The major major yeah. Charles Ingram, the coughing major. These were his final four answers on that show and I wanted to hear Google. Let's see if you could have answered the other questions. In Coronation Street, who is Audrey's daughter? Janice, Gail, Linda or Sally? It's Gail. It I is think. Gail. He went 50-50 at £32,000 on this question. 
Who had a hit UK album with Born to Do It, released in 2000? Okay. Coldplay, Top Loader, A1 <laughs> or Craig David? I can't remember. That sounds like Craig David to me. <laughs> what a very Major Charles type of answer. He'd actually never heard mm. of Craig David, but said it sounded like the kind of thing Craig David would do, oh. and he went for that, <laughs> and he was correct. So no points there. What would you like around us for your own question? Uh, could we have the water, please? Yes, you could. What will come forth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Uh, so, oh, well, it's a fish. fish. Is that a fish? Bowl? Bowl. I don't even know. It's one of those uh, I think about fish. Next, please. Is that a geisha on the right? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. What on earth is going on? Mask, anyway. I think we've just got to go for another one. Next, please. Yeah. That's how feed is pet, isn't it? Is that? That? It might be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm... Uh, that's goodbye in German, isn't it? Yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. So long, uh, farewell. Oh, thanks, Auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen. No? Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. Oh, I see. So yes. just goodbye. Yeah. Yeah? Somebody waving to say bye-bye. I'll take that. Uh, we've we actually got a picture of Elton John wearing a jacket which celebrates Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Oh. That's because we're not allowed to use the album cover Goodbye Yellow Brick Road for <laughs> copyright reasons. <laughs> what is happening in this sequence? So it's the song from uh, the Sound of Music. Yep. Yeah. So long, farewell, Auf Wiedersehen, goodbye. That's right. And what is featuring in our clues? So the first one, I guess, so long and thanks for all the fish from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to mm -hmm. the Galaxy. Second one, farewell. I don't know what that's from. No. no. It's the film Farewell, My Concubine. Ah, uh, OK. Oh. Next one is, I think you knew, Auf Wiedersehen, Pet. Mm -hmm. So yeah. ours are all in titles of other works, but I would mm. be amazed if there isn't some kind of cultural work which is good by something. So I will accept your answer. Well done. Thank you. Animal lovers, what would you like? Can we have the two reads, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. It's double 12. Uh, okay. Next, please. Okay. Dance again. 19, this sounds like... Oh, is it going to be triple 20 is the most you can do? I would do? keep get another one. Next, I please. One. Hmm. I am s uh, six. Triple 20 is the most you can get. Uh, well, it's got to be six, hasn't it? Yeah, six. Um, so we're going 24. Uh, I mean, if in doubt, we'll go bullseye, but I... Sixth bullseye. Not it, I'm afraid. Uh, Ramblers, do you know? Sixth treble 20. Yes, it is. And why? So this is a nine dart checkout in darts. The, dart, the scores you have to hit going backwards from your double. Um, and the other darts from sixth to first would have to be treble 20, really. Exactly so. A nine dart finish starting with a double 12 going backwards to treble 20. Well done. And your own question will be the Eye of Horus. What would come forth in the last sequence of the round? Here's the first. On a scale oh of one to four, please rank Ivan the Fourth of Russia. One. Oh, he's terrible. Is, yeah, this is just a so like be, a scale. Like, sorry. So four is going to be the great or great? Right. So do you think? Right? Well, Surely. Or is there anyone who's better than great? Like a oh. magnificent or a well, fantastic? Yeah. Do you want to take one oh, yeah. more? Yeah, it could be. What's that? Suleiman the Magnificent. Should we just go for that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is this the place play off? We might as well. Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> On a scale of one to four, please rank Suleiman the Magnificent of the Ottoman Empire, brackets four, close brackets. <laughs> it's so joyful how you said it's the third place playoff, what the hell. <laughs> I, I'll take your answer, because the problem with this sequence is it's all over the place anyway. Let's bring up all the clues, see what you can tell me about them. Okay, okay, so it's, great, yeah. uh, the first one is Ivan the Terrible, so <laughs> one is meaning mm. terrible. Yes. Then you've got Charles the Bad, I guess, is the second one. Charles, Charles the Bad, king of Navarre. King of Navarre in the 14th century. And you've got Magnus the Good. Mm. Um, Magnus the Good was Norway. king of Norway. And then Alfred the Great. Well, I would have expected Alfred the Great, but I really just think <laughs> something that's better than good. It's not the tightest sequence in the world, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so your answer is acceptable. <laughs> well done. <laughs> At the end of round two, the animal lovers have four points, which is the kind of score one should have at this stage. That's what one wants to see. And the ramblers, ridiculously, have 18. Time now for the connecting wall. 
And Ramblers, I can tell you, you're going into this wall with the highest score ever recorded by an Only Connect team at this Oof. stage of the competition. And I say this to a team who once went into wall with only one point mm. after two whole rounds. Yep. So uh, <laughs> I guess you've had more spinach today. Something like that. <laughs> Let's see how you fare at this stage. Which wall would you like, lion or water? Uh, we've got to leave the lion for the animal lovers, mm. so we'll have the water wall. Please. That's very decent of you. Water wall it is. Two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Right, OK. Garfield's a cat. Got some comics. I'm the American president. Dilbert's a comic, isn't he? Yeah, Dilbert's a comic. Wondering. Garfield. Ah, she is. Peanuts? Peanuts? Yeah, Peanuts, of course. Right, yeah, there's something else there. Texas is a band. Blondie's a band. Yeah, lovely. Um, Anything else? Garbage. They're all female... And Hole. They're all female-fronted rock bands. They are. They must be uh, oh, there's the also things that are just trash. Those so scrap yeah, wall, litter, yeah, debris. Yeah. Trash. Okay, um, what's the other one? Dave Bruce. Let's screen up what's trash. Okay, yeah, okay. Garth must be bad. Cool. Garth must be bad. Wonder if sleep is okay. bad. Actually, what, what is Mondegreen? I know what is a Mondegreen is. Well, but... it ends in green, that ends in park. Um, do any of them uh, end in like green Oh, Field, spaces? Garth Field. Yeah. Ah, okay. And Azalea, a Lee, is like a. Lovely. So, uh, Peanuts is a comic. Archie's a comic. Dilbert's a comic. Dilbert's a comic. So, which of those We've is not a We've already tried pile? those together without sleep. No, with Sleeper. I think Sleeper, sleeper must be put a band. in the band. Yeah, so the other okay. four we've tried together. Yeah. So, so which of those is most likely to be a comic? Blondie? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You solved them all. Very well done. You still have the highest recorded <laughs> score, but let's see what happens when I ask you for the connections. Scrap, debris and so on. So these are all words that mean rubbish. They seem to mean rubbish. And the next group, Garfield, Mondegreen and so on. So they all end in words that are green spaces. They end in open areas, exactly so. Peanuts, Blondie, Archie, Dilbert. Uh, these are all kind of comic strips. They are all comic strips, exactly so. And the last group, Garbage, Hole, Texas and Sleeper. So these are all bands and they're all they're female, female fronted. fronted rock groups. Yes, they are. You didn't know Sleeper. That was fronted no. by Louise Wiener. She wrote mm -hmm. a novel about poker, Louise Wiener. Yeah, all right. yeah. So that is maximum on the wall. And with 28 points, no team has ever been in this strong a position during a match. So very well done to you. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. Animal lovers, I can tell you that your opponents have deliberately left the lion wall oh. as a sign of friendship. So it's the lion for you. So lovely. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. OK, uh, Mount Rowley is... Mount Rowley. It's a wizard. No, no. So um, Mount, mountains, Mount Fuji. Yeah. Mount Fuji, Mount... Ararat. Mount El Elbrus, El Elbrus, yeah. Yes. And uh, Ararat, the top Ararat. left. So um, trek, expedition, voyage, and hike. Mount all Logan, mean the same Mount thing. Logan as well. Trek, hike, uh, expedition, expedition and voyage, voyage, and voyage. And passage. passage it can as also well. mean that. The other thing is that um, Voyager was a series of Star Trek. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got that. So okay. we've got Mount, so Mount Logan, Logan as well. Mount yeah. Logan, Mount that. Elbrus, Mount... Fuji can't be anything else, I don't Fuji. think. Yeah. So dandelion, I think, is a loan word. Might be a French loan word. Ararat, and if guacamole is also, Ray that Fuji. might be what it is. Ararat, um, these, really, like, oh, beers? Elbrus? Yeah. I don't know enough about beer. Yeah, we'll no, leave out Ararat. We've had beers before, haven't we? We've always picked up um, I think we must have another... Oh, there's costume. Oh, there's, there's animals on the end. Guacamole, dandelion. Guacamole, yes. dandelion, Ron Seal. Yes. And... Uh, Ararat. Yes, Yay! well done. Um, <laughs> okay, so we've still got so the mountains. The Raleigh, got... Fuji, Logan, Elbrus. Just try it. Uh, we've only got three yeah, lines, but just try three. it. Those Raleigh, are the ones that we know Fuji, are mountains. Elbrus. Okay, okay, so Savelo or Koshiko could be. I feel like... What's the other one? Is it Raleigh kind of cycle bike as well? Thing yeah, is, we, I um, don't think we know. Fuji, it's like a... We might have to take a... Mm. Uh, can we remove a letter or add a letter? Well, Fuji is a kind of film, like Fuji Film's yeah, camera. Fuji film camera. Logan might be a brand name, Raleigh is a brand name, but I don't really connect to Dolly other than they are names of things. Okay, yeah, that's not a thing. Um, well, we know that Elbrus is, Fuji is a mountain. So, Raleigh, I yeah, think Koshuko is? Do we know I what that is? I would maybe say that Fuji is the beer and take out okay. that and put Raleigh and Logan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, make okay. either, 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 either Polish sounding one or the Tayde. Elbrus and Tayde could be Tayde. Let's do it, go. let's yeah. do it. Why not? Why not? No. Oh, oh, fair enough. That's your <laughs> third life, and the wall has frozen. But you found two groups, and what are the connections? Expedition, passage, voyage, hike. They're all journeys. They're all journeys. And the next group, Ararat, guacamole and so on. They all end with animals. They've got animals at the ends. And you can get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. So... Trek, Cervelo, Raleigh and Fuji. Are they brand names? 
Of they are brand names. Of For what? Of beer. I'm afraid it's bicycles. <gasps> oh. They I was are types bicycle of thing. bicycle. And the last group, Elbrus, Kosciuszko and so on. Uh, these are mountains. Those are the mountains. Kosciuszko, the tallest mountain in Australia. In fact, they're all the right. tallest mountains in their respective countries. That's the one you didn't know. Mm. But you found two groups. You gave me three connections. That's a total of five points. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The animal lovers have nine points. The ramblers have 28. So, a bit of a mountain to climb, a bit of a Kosciuszko for you, but it can be done. This is a night where miracles are happening. You can still win. Fingers on buzzers teams for the missing vowels round. I can tell you the first group disguise clues are all palindromes. Animal lovers? Race car. Yes, it is. Ramblers? Never driven. Not it, I'm afraid. Animal lovers, do you know? It's never odd or even. That's the palindrome. Next clue. Animal lovers? Dogs as God. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting perhaps dog sees God or do geese see God, but yours is a palindrome. You get the point. Let's have the next clue. This is the famous one. Abel was I, air, I saw Elba. Next group, four famous people with their names merged together. Ramblers. Boy, George, Michael, Jackson, Brown. Correct. Ramblers. Craig, David, James, Taylor, Swift. Well done. Ramblers. David, Jason, Kenny, Logan, Paul. Very good. Ramblers. Ralph, Little, Richard, Desmond, Morris? Yes, indeed. Next category, three colours with the same vowels. Ramblers. Blue, purple and... <sighs> nope, you lose a point, I'm afraid. Animal lovers, do you know? Blue, purple and peace. All having U-E in them, correct. Animal lovers. Mauve, torp and azure. Well done. The good news is it's the end of the round and looking at the final scores, finishing with a noble 13 points, it's the animal lovers, very well done to you. But with 30 points and finishing in all important third place in this year's <laughs> Only Connect, it's the Ramblers, very well done. Well done all of you, some brilliant quizzing, some good scores, delighted uh, to have you all here. Thank you for playing. Join me next time for the final. But in the meantime, because today is International Elvis Presley Impersonation Day, we've got a little treat for you during the final credits. Instead of our usual theme tune, it's my rendition of Rockahula Baby from the 1961 film Blue Hawaii. I hope you enjoy that. Good night. Mm -hmm.